This is one of my favorite things to do each and every year. People ask me about the winter as early as the summer, and we have to go back to the summer where we start coming up with an outlook for the season. And these are hard to do as it is. But what you have to do is look at past patterns. I go back to a climatology class I had in college years ago, and our professor said, you look to the past, you look to the future. He's exactly right. And that's what we do. We look at past patterns. We're looking at ocean currents across the the globe. We're looking at our regional autumn patterns that we've had up to this point in the autumn. And you have to remember that even when you look at these past patterns, no two winters are exactly alike. You'll learn something each and every year. They're all sort of different. But you look for similarities in temperature and precipitation patterns. And also with that, some folklore. Yeah, I counted the woolly worms and I did count the fogs in August because I know growing up here, that's what you do when you factor that in for the winter outlook. So here we go was sort of a, a broad brush idea. We look at the ocean circulations across the globe. Gulf of Mexico, Atlantic have been in a warm phase. And, and, and again, that's a phase that slowly transitions over the decades. The Pacific is predominantly cool, but also warm back of the western equatorial waters and cool off the coast of South America. So when we look at the El Nino phase, so to speak, it's been in what we call a neutral phase. There's no El Nino, no La Nina. But as we go through the winter and into early spring, they're expecting, at least the models are, a transition from a neutral to what's known as a warm neutral or weak El Nino. Now, typically, strong El Ninos mean very stormy patterns for the east and southeast with a strong southern jet stream. But a weak El Nino is a little bit different. A lot of times, weak El Ninos can mean temperatures that are colder than average in the east and southeastern U.S. with warmth back to the west. So it puts the heart of the cold here over the Midwest. So that's something to factor in. On a shorter range scale, we also look at what's called as the North Atlantic os Oscillation and the Arctic Oscillation. But those are oscillations that, unlike the El Nino, that you can only see and observe two to three weeks in advance. So we'll be watching for fluctuations in, in what we call the NAO. And right now, it's gone negative, and that's why we're cold right now. But I do see the heart of the cold here, which is close enough to us, to where we're going to have some cold shots, at least what the outlook looks like, where we're going to see a back and forth pattern, mild periods, offset by cold periods, but some of those cold periods like we're seeing now could be sharp. The storm tracks of the autumn have been like this, suggesting that more of the snow is going to be to our north, but we're right on that proverbial borderline. So I like overall our snow chances. I think we, should, we could average out our normal snow chances, maybe slightly above based on that storm path. But overall for temperatures, we're looking at a back and forth pattern. There'll be mild patterns, offset by cold periods, so not just you know, warm like it was last winter. This is going to be back and forth, but some of those cold shots could be really cold and could drag down our uh, average temperatures for the winter. That's something we're going to be really watching for in the months ahead. Overall, rainfall near normal, but again, based on that storm track, I think we could at least see our average range of snowfall, which per year is around 4.8 inches, but if the storm tracks hold, it could be slightly above that being right on that borderline. So again, there's a lot to be anxious for if you like snow. I like snow. I know Kim loves snow as well. So we're kind of looking at this optimistically thinking, okay, I like this. And yes. that's what this is, is an outlook. Is it going to do this? Well, only time will tell. But every step of the way through winter, like we're doing for tonight, we'll keep you posted every step of the way on all the Absolutely. fluctuations that go on between now and mid-March. It's a long time, <laughs> but that's what we do. I like snow too, somewhere else. Exactly. But I like snow I like it too. here. Yeah, okay. me too.